Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 9 and 10 of season 1 of Working. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 and 3, 2, 1, go. So I'm afraid no guy comes to her. Is there an attic in Russia? Yeah, I think it will be fine. Mm. No, for others, honestly, as well. Back. Well, I mean, you know what? Let's talk about the real quick. You're, you know, we're talking about Joker, P5, you know, and P5 dancing. <laughs> he cross dressed. And it was gay. Like, all the boys cross dressed. I think he kicks up a catchy. And, like I said, Ryan, Joker. Mm, mwah, talk to your like, yes. So good, oh my god, like <laughs> But still I don't think um that's gonna work, honey buddy. <laughs> No, for one of the outfits in the game in the royal. Mm -mm. Okay, never mind. I thought it worked. Because I was about to be like, hmm, after I'm done watching this, I'm going to boot up the game real quick and see if one of the costumes is a cross session costume. But no, that's only for dancing. Um, what brought this on, honey? Um. Oh my gosh, your dad's very protective of you. Yeah, I know we're protective father. Because I'm guessing for him, boys are bad. Your dad is the one who corrupted her. Oh my god. My dear, I'm sorry, honey. Oh. Oh my god. Are you just what? What? <laughs> Yo. 
you know. <laughs> yes, so do you think you yes on your way to Joker from E5. <laughs> Because Lelouch never crossed. No, yeah, Lelouch never crossed us. But you did it. <laughs> Since we want to talk about Love Chita Boya, since I just finished watching that. My little, you you just uh, you screwed yourself. You played yourself, honey bunny. Well, does that mean the rest of the guys are gonna have to cross dress as well? Because I mean, you're working with three other guys. Well, two other guys, not counting. <laughs> So sad, but <laughs> oh God, that Laura. I know. Well, maybe you just just stand up to your dad, Mahiru, and just tell him the truth. And be like, hey, I don't punch. Well, I still punch him, but you know, it's okay. He's not a bad guy. No, my hero, no. Yamada, what the hell? Your bedroom up there? That's just a whole house right up there. I mean, damn. Yamada was like, fuck it. I'm going to come out whenever the fuck I want to. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's too late. You already said you're going to do it. Oh, there are ways. And you're going to look so pretty. Like how Cloud looks pretty. Bro, this is gonna be so awesome. <laughs> My hater, no, no, we, we do not. Mm -mm, no killing. This is like the fucking episode of Sora Online 2 when Kibito was like, oh no, wait, I'm a girl. <laughs> just 
but this is so much better. <laughs> Yep, use your cute eater voice. <laughs> but it's cute though. Yeah. You got this. <laughs> so much. No, it's a meme. So much. I love you, but you are an ass. <laughs> I'm a hater. Yeah, that's your dad. <laughs> So what do you, he got a gun in there or something? I'm a little scared. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you have nothing to worry about. So what's in the bag? Oh, oof, okay, thank God. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, she's fine. Oh, God. It's okay. We just, we now know that you were the one who started the syndrome by saying that Ishtar. I thought it was just, you know, some random man. Maybe. But no. Her father. Mm. But you would think that, like, her father would have been immune to all of it, but no. <laughs> No, 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 Well, you know, um, Mahidu's dad, if only you really knew. I'm just saying. Oh god, don't fuck it up. Mm -hmm. Maybe they need counseling. I mean, for them to have a better relationship than she had when, you know, she was a child. I mean, as of now, that's like non-existent. But, you know, I mean, this is only a little bit in there and, you know, maybe the relationship could be better. <clears throat> Exactly. You don't know that ish. Oh my god.
Yeah. Took his heart. <laughs> oh, not you do. Of Christ. Because <laughs> it's so damning. Come on now. Sorry, you did perfect. No, no, no. <laughs> She's just a girl who's in love. <laughs> So that makes me wonder, going into episode 10, because we are technically done with this episode, is she going to punch him? I mean, mm, we've got eight whole episodes. Technically not, but no, because she really didn't punch him in this episode. Eight whole episodes of her punching the crap out of him. And it seems like she's finally taking that first step on her own to not punch a man anymore. I mean, my you do. You did it. This was technically, you know... um, her last step, her interrogation, you know, it's like, hey, you know, if you don't do this, you won't go to rehab. Mm -hmm. You want to go to rehab? Mm -hmm. But I'm happy for her. I mean, her dad, yes, is very overprotective. Not the type of dad that you kind of really want for a girl because he just, he really kind of fucked her up. And for her to be afraid of men and to literally, like, punch the shit out of them, I mean, she got a mean punch, like, girl. Mm. Oh my god, this child, like, girl, damn. I, I can't even imagine it, but I don't know. I mean, maybe this is a good thing. This is a real good thing for her. But it, it's just, at the end of the day, if we're going to get a preview, which we're getting something. I'm popular. <laughs> yeah, I added the boobs. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it really just depends on my hero. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. I spoke too soon, ladies and gentlemen. What did it look like? Soto was literally like, yes, like, oh my god, mm -hmm. punch me some more ish. Like, he was over here, like, mm hmm, like, uh, oh my god, mm -hmm. y you know, mm -hmm. is that your fetish? Like, oh my god. I mean, you know, the, the every man who, well, most of the anime weebs who play P5 really love Takemi. Because, you know, Takemi was a doctor and she did her experiments. And, you know, everybody was like, yes, mm-hmm, step on me. I'm over here like, um, <laughs> I mean, you are literally acknowledging that you like that, is, but you know what, it's okay. I mean, mm, the things that people like. <laughs> but so I think, like, what, Takemi is, like, 
top five for me because I thought she was interesting and plus I love her aesthetic, you know, gothic type-ish things that I wanted to be when I was like in high school. I was kind of gothic. Not really, but like, mm, I knew my ish, darkness, bitch, let's go. But I mean, yeah, it just seems like after seeing this episode and seeing the preview towards 10, we, we took this nice big step, that first step, for Mahiru to be a better person, to slowly but surely not punch Sota. And then you get to the preview 10, and it's just like, y'all just threw that out the hell. Like, at the, out of me. Like, out of, out of the house. Like, it, like this, like, ten, 9 didn't happen. So, this episode did not happen, and then we're gonna get to 10, and then, boom. And I'm just gonna be like, girl, like, what was all that ish in 9? Was that for nothing? Because <laughs> it seems like it was. But I don't know. I mean, you know what? It's just, take, like I said, take one step at a time. One day at a time. I mean, she's going to get it. I, ha I have high hopes for her <clears throat> that by the end of the series, you know, she will punch. <laughs> and so to or literally any freaking guy that she sees. But, like, uh, her dad is just... If you look up overprotective dad in the dictionary, his picture, and along with so many other anime dads, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. that's all I gotta say. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Nope, it didn't even want to work. Alright, so take 2 in 3, 2, 1, go. No, that, that's Yamada. I mean, it, that's so obvious. Some eyes. Really? Um, poor Yamada. Yamada is about to have separation anxiety for a whole episode. Poor baby. Mm -mm. I picked the worst time to kind of really record because it's about to storm really bad outside. This is the last thing I got to do to record and I kind of wish I started at like 2 o'clock after I took my dog out. But um, your girl was hungry. And your girl was procrastinating because she was watching a whole bunch of movies, a whole bunch of movies, a whole bunch of videos on YouTube about just random things. I was watching like video essays of Resident Evil 3 remake, a little bit of 2 remake, um, random-ish. And the next thing you know, it was 4 o'clock and I was like, no, it was, yeah, it was still going on Thor, on Thor and I was like, I need to go ahead and get this stuff done because, um, supposedly, like, next week, we're supposed to be having, like, a really bad either tropical storm and or hurricane, and I kind of want to go ahead and be, um, at least a week or two ahead, so tomorrow I'm doing, like, a lot more stuff as well, because I got to do Noane, and I'm probably going to watch the next two episodes of Forky, and then everything else on Sunday, because it's supposed to be. All next week, too! <laughs> Great! <laughs> well, that's good, my hair,
Yeah, because she's still, you know, her phobia. And now you're back to a guy. She tried and she failed. Mm-hmm. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just complicated, hon. Let me go ahead and close this. I can reach it. Okay. And I'll do my curtain after that because it's done. Oh, you can still help this girl in love. Oh my god. Yeah, but you don't have to ruin it. Oh my lord, help her, please. Mm hmm. Oh, um. You know, when Kyoko come back, she'll be like, What the fuck just happened? What the hell happened while I was gone? <laughs> please, like, yeah, because you don't want them to be like Ethikai, right? I mean, you're you're not really Chuck Coon, but <laughs> yeah, you know, are you serious, girl? Hey, Amada. Okay. Oh, you're you're, you're table set. <laughs> So, do you want him to eat with you? Mm, it's a viewer. <laughs> And this someone was, of course, to be popular. They 
you look so cute. Oh my god. No, Mahinu, it's okay. It was kind of bound to happen, and I'm glad it happened. Literally, like episode 9 was the best episode ever of season 1, until we get to season 2. Oh, oh. Yeah, walk home first. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, sixteen. Oh my god, yeah, she know. It's okay. Oh my god, you poor depressed girl. Your girlfriend is gone, and she'll be back soon. She'll be back probably by the end of the episode. <laughs> it's not the same. Mm. <laughs> Please don't choke on your smoke, oh my god. Had to put friend on that ish. Okay, now my heater, don't punch him. I know it takes time. I hope you're doing your social distancing though. Yeah, there we go, social distance. <laughs> yeah, you take it one day at a time, my hero. Well, there's no rush. You got, what, three, four seasons of this show.
anything actually. For a second. You gotta feel so bad for him. Mm. Cause he he likes her. We all know that, but like, mm. yeah, she don't like Brian. <laughs> oh god. Hmm? Oh, mm -hmm, his sister. Oh god, that just shook the whole thing. Hurry up. I gotta hurry up and finish this before it starts raining. And you don't want the party to go out. I have how many minutes do I have left? I got nine minutes. Go. <laughs> that means I ain't gonna be able to edit this until tomorrow. That's fine. That or I could just edit it tonight. Yeah, because what would Nazana think, right? Observing you, making sure you don't do anything. Makes you wonder how much <laughs> dishes my has broken since episode one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh huh. No, oh my God, no, you do. It's okay. We all knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, I'm gonna know. Didn't you just take a break? <laughs> I heard you too. No, no, Zuna. If you only knew. The, yeah. <laughs> you know, hmm, that's a good question. Sad day though, right? <laughs> mm. 
before. Sure, Yabada. It would have been nice to have her work in more episodes, but you know, hey, she is an elementary school student, so she is the youngest out of all the damn kids. <laughs> you can't have that happen, right? Mm hmm. So, yeah. Last of this episode of the series. Oh, God. Basically, yes. But secretly, you don't want that, right? Yeah, it's gonna take, you know, a little while, a couple of months, maybe years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm hungry. So we just go end like that? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. We ended it like that. Mm. You know what? I'm actually, you know, because it's funny when you're watching this VA and two different shows, playing like, kind of almost two very similar characters because the fact is he's trying to get um, a phobia, an eighth grade syndrome. From breakup plus a phobia from Mahiru. I mean, he trying. <laughs> he trying though. It's okay. The, the fact that Nazuna like came and just like observed that was cute, but so it was working. So adorable, baby girl. Like we love it. She's so freaking cute. I love her. She might be like my second fave out of his sisters because the one who is drunk all the time. That is a mood. <laughs> she is a mood, and I love her so freaking much. But oh, this episode, I can't. If Nazuna didn't walk down that road and see those two, <laughs> oh my god, experimenting with like her issue, who knows how this episode would have gone? Oh my god, I can't. And then Yamada with that beginning, and then trying to comfort Yachiro. Oh my god, that's a big old nope with that. Mm -hmm. She tried though. <laughs> Which was. What sicknesses he have? Yeah. What? Yeah, you are sick. I mean. I don't know, but would you call that a sickness, though? <laughs> oh, God. And the pictures again? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I have no 
nothing else to say about this episode, but it was really good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes 9 and 10 of season 1 of working. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes. Honestly, since we have... And I might have to do it because of the fact is this show is 13 episodes, I think, for every single season. I don't know. I have to go back and look. Um, I think what we're going to do with this is put the last three episodes together. So, yeah. Next week, you'll see me for the finale of season one. Bye, guys.